What's up everyone? So I just came across a video by Globe Skeptic um, where he found something quite amazing. Now, I had to think about this a couple of times um, before it made sense because basically what he found is that when you change the time of the computer, the time on your computer, the ISS live tracker changes the position of where the ISS is on the map. Now, at first I thought, okay, so you put your clock forward one hour and it shows you where it's meant to be, right? Um, or where it will be. But a tracker should not rely whatsoever on the time of the device that it's been accessed from. Like, to, uh, it's been, yeah, been accessed from. So if the clock on my computer is wrong, then I'll see the position of the ISS in the wrong place. So a tracker is just meant to send you a live feed of where the ISS is. And we're going to see in this instant that it doesn't do that at all. Now, Globe Skeptic, I'll put a link to his video below. He'll show you how changing the time on the computer affects the live ISS tracker. And I'm going to show you. I thought I'd try it on my iPad. So this one here is the most downloaded ISS spotting app, right? So we're going to open it. So it immediately asks me if I want to share my location, right? So we're going to say yes. Now, <clears throat> so here it is. You can see I can't move the map, but you can see where it is and how fast it's moving. So I'm going to go over here and change the time. And I'm going to go forward, say, two hours, right? And then go back. And it's in a completely different position. So this proves that these are not trackers. They just take your location and time and give you either prediction or just something bogus, which in my opinion is, is a lie because if you're being told that, that this is a live ISS tracker, then it shouldn't have to have anything to do with your time, the time on your device. So... Great find, Globe Skeptic. Um, we're going to put the link below. All right. The Earth is flat. Take care, guys.